Papa Pepper, don't make pirate cheap. All right, guys, Papa Pepper here once again. This time I got one of our rams with us. This is Buckington. He's our Shetland fin sheep ram. And uh, if you notice, I recently just trimmed his horns. And there's a reason for that. And unfortunately, I wish I would have caught it sooner. Uh, about two weeks ago, I was looking at this guy and I'm like, man, his horns are kind of getting close to his eyes. And I'm like, okay, well, we'll just kind of see what happens. Um, I figured, you know, maybe they'll turn out, maybe they'll turn up. We'll see what happens. And with sheep, like a lot of animals, if they've got water and they've got open pasture to eat, they're pretty much fine. You don't really need to interact with them on a daily basis. So noticed it, said, okay, I'll keep an eye on that. Came back, checked about a week later, and it had actually grown his horn right into here. And I didn't take any pictures of it, but the horn was actually growing in below his eye. His eye had actually clouded up and there was like a white pus and also out of his nose. And I thought, no, that was so quick. Like I just checked him. I'm like, how did his horn grow that quick? And I thought, oh man, we just lost the eye. Like I didn't take proper care of my animal and now it's gonna be blind in one eye for the rest of its life. And that's, that's what I thought. I do, uh, I've been checking on him a little more often lately too. So I'd come out at night with a flashlight and I'd look at him and every other one, two eyes would light up and this guy would have one eye light up. And I'm like, man, no, you know? So when I actually trimmed him, I just got a little saw, hand saw, and then I held him real still and just cut through it. And I uh, actually had to pull, pull it out of here. You know, it was in about that much already. And it was really just over the course of like a week. I'm like, wow, that was quick. And like I said, his eye was clouded over. So I, I gave him some different treatments that we do, try to help boost his immune system get him back to where he would be, uh, you know, fighting off the infection because I believe there was an infection as well. And slowly over time, his eye began to, uh, the swelling went down and his eye began to kind of look more normal. And now, when I shine a flashlight at him, both eyes actually light up. Um, and that was crazy. You know, I don't think it's exactly a miracle, but I think that while we didn't catch it in time to prevent pain or damage, because uh, because he was in pain, you know, there was damage done. There was an infection There was you know, it was digging into his skin there and his eye actually clouded up Like I said it happened quick, but when we did notice it um, We were able to take care of it right away, and I, I thought he would be blind I thought he'd be blind to one eye, but apparently he's not yeah See if I get close to him with my finger he was blinking there so Anyway, just a reminder that even when you have animals that are less labor-intensive when they can run around out in the open, and as long as they got water, they're gonna be fine. Keep a close eye on them, and especially ones with horns. You know, don't be afraid to, to give them a trim. Don't be afraid to, to help them out. So, uh, and even if you miss it initially, you can still apparently catch it in time where even if you didn't catch it originally and, uh, and dig it hurt, you can still catch it in time to help them out and uh, prevent anything like the loss of an eye, so. Obviously, lesson learned on our end, and, uh, and we're very thankful for it. I think the ewes are actually pregnant, so hopefully we'll have some little babies of these soon enough. All right, pop out. Learn from my mistakes. Don't make me your own. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.